Miller Brewing Company. San Diego 16, Los Angeles Raiders nothing. Let's take time out. Thank you, Jack. A lot of good games around the NFL this afternoon, but the most dramatic was up in Foxborough, Massachusetts, the Cowboys and the Patriots. New England took a 17-14 lead late, but the Cowboys came back, tied the game, sent it into overtime. They won the coin flip, elected to receive. Let's pick up Brad Sham of station KRLD in Dallas. Wing left formation. And White with a handoff. Walker, left tackle, breaking the 45. Midfield, one man to beat. Herschel Walker to the 20. We knew uh, the New England off defense was always pursuing very hard to the ball. So we figured we can continue to cut it back. Maybe I can get one-on-one -on -one with the free safety, which is what happened on that play there. Now, Herschel Walker, during the week, had said that he wanted to be used more at tailback or traded by the Cowboys. And Coach Tom Landry decided to make the move. He benched Tony Dorsett. Herschel Walker stepped in, and he exploded for 173 yards rushing. It was one of those days for Herschel Walker and the Dallas Cowboys, and they upped their record to 5-4, and 23-17 over the 4-5 and five New England Patriots. More scores and highlights, and we'll be back in just a moment. Hello, this is Walter Cronkite, and I'd like to talk to you for a minute, especially if you're a parent of teenage children. Actually, I'm going to ask you to have a very difficult talk with your kids. No, I don't mean about teenage sex. For a lot of us, that would be easy compared with what I'm talking about. I mean drugs. I mean cocaine. I mean crack. Hard as it may be to talk about drugs with your kids, it should be unthinkable for you not to. After all, everyone knows it's a national problem, so your kids know that you know it, too. If you don't talk about it with them, if you don't fight it with them, your kids have every right to think you don't care. In fact, if you say nothing, it's practically like telling them it's okay. The idea of your kids using cocaine or crack ought to scare you to death. So, hard as it may be, you've got to learn about it. And you've got to talk about it. This is Walter Cronkite on behalf of the Partnership for a Drug-Free America. When the day began, all five teams in the AFC East were tied at 500. Now there are two at the top, the Indianapolis Colts and the New York Jets. The Colts hammered Miami 40 to 21. What's significant here is the fact that the Colts had lost 14 straight games to the Dolphins. And this is the first time that they have won in Miami since 1980, and they did it in convincing fashion. Meanwhile, the Jets, coming off an impressive Monday night home victory over Seattle, went on the road. They played in a driving rainstorm in Kansas City, and they defeated the Chiefs 16 to 9. Freeman McNeil, the big item here, he rushed for 184 yards. In the AFC Central, the Cleveland Browns and the Houston Oilers are headed for their showdown next Sunday in Texas. It was the Browns 27 and the Buffalo Bills 21. Bernie Kosar threw two touchdown passes for the Browns and their record of 6-3 and three, and they are showing indications that they are capable of making it all the way to the Super Bowl. Meanwhile, one of the surprise teams, the Oilers, their record of 6-3, and three, fashioned 23-3 in Pittsburgh over the Steelers. That's a place where the Oilers normally lose. And Warren Moon tossed two touchdown passes. Meanwhile, the Cincinnati Bengals went into Atlanta, and they were under fire. They trailed late. Then they went on a drive. And here's Brad Nessler of WSB in Atlanta. It'll take a turnover or some sort of defensive miracle for Atlanta to escape a score here by the Bengals. Kinnebrew off the left side. Touchdown, Cincinnati. They could not escape it. Larry Kennebrew pounding in, and it was a 16-10 final. The Bengals over the Falcons. More scores and highlights coming up, but right now, let's pause for this word. Tougher than nails. That's the kind of bonding strength you get with Mako Liquid Nails Construction Adhesive from True Value Hardware Stores. Get a 10.5 fluid ounce cartridge of liquid nails for just 99 cents. It's easy to apply through a standard caulking gun and bonds a wide array of building materials with a long-lasting waterproof seal. Get the 10.5 fluid ounce cartridge of Mako Liquid Nails Construction Adhesive for just 99 cents at participating True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers. Tell them Pat Summerall sent you. Hi. I'm sorry I can't talk louder, but I'm in the Army Reserve and my squad and I are on patrol in these woods. The problem is there's another squad out here and they're planning to ambush us. What I like best about Army Reserve training is that it's not kid stuff. 
Being an army reservist gives me something exciting to do one weekend a month and two weeks a year, even if I do have to keep quiet. Uh-oh, there's the signal. Gotta go. See your local army recruiter. Shh. Paid for by the Army Reserve. The big quarterback news today took place in Washington, where Coach Joe Gibbs replaced a sluggish Jay Schrader with Doug Williams. Williams came off the bench, fired two touchdown passes, and the Redskins rallied to beat Detroit 20 to 13. But meanwhile, the New York Giants are hanging tough in the NFC East. They won a game they had to have. And the star was their field goal specialist, Raul Alegre. He already had kicked a 53-yarder. The game was tied at 17, closing minutes of the fourth quarter. Here's Jim Gordon of station WNEW in New York. All the 52-yard attempt, if they do it. It's up. It has got the distance. It is good. And that was the difference, 20 to 17, as Paul McFadden missed the 39-yarder with 11 seconds left that would have sent the game into overtime. Meanwhile, there was disappointment in the voice of Bill Wilkerson of station KMOX in St. Louis. The Cardinals had come back again. They were tied with the Rams. It was 24-all, but then it was Mike Lansford trotting out to attempt the field goal. Snap back, ball down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. Time is out, the ball game is over. The Rams win it 27-24. And that's what it sounds like, folks, when you're the losing announcer. Meanwhile, keep an eye on a couple of teams in the NFC. One in the West, the New Orleans Saints 26, the San Francisco 49ers 24. And the Saints pulled to within a game of the Niners in that division. And the Saints' record is 6-3. and three. Morton Anderson kicked four field goals for Coach Jim Mora. The fourth one won it with a minute to go. The Vikings with a 5-4 and four record. And remember, this team during the strike went 0-3. So in effect, their veterans are 5-1. and one. They beat Tampa Bay today 23-17. to 17, And they held the Buccaneers to only 15 yards rushing. And it was Seattle 24, Green Bay 13, so the Seahawks record in the AFC West is 5-3. and three. That brings us to tomorrow night. The Chicago Bears will be in Denver to play the Broncos. The Bears at 7-1, the Broncos 4-3-1, and, and quarterback John Elway knows the problems that that Bear defense will present. I think what they've been doing is they've been giving up some big plays, and that's the reason why there have been some big, a lot of points scored, and I think that that's what we're going to have to go in this game plan on doing. We're going to have to get some big plays because they're, they're a pressure team, physical team that can bring a lot of people and really put a, pre a lot of pressure on the quarterbacks. So. In Chicago this week, some disappointment expressed by running back Walter Payton, who was in his last season before he heads toward the Hall of Fame. And earlier today on the NFL Today on CBS, I asked the star running back if he wanted Coach Mike Ditka to call his number more frequently. I would like for Mike to do whatever he has to do for this team to win. If that's calling my number more, then fine. If that's not calling my number more, then that's fine also. Now, Walter, last year, any change of heart? Will you come back and play one more season with the Bears? <laughs> no, Brett. There, there, there are other things that I want to accomplish outside the, uh, the realm of football and uh, also in the uh, circle of football. And uh, I'm going to have to need, I'm gonna need time to pursue that, uh, that desire of mine. And uh, if I play football, it would be hard to do that. In the circle of football, Walter Payton would someday like to become a club owner. All right, it's time for the second half. The Chargers and the Raiders. Take it away, Jack Buck. These folks here at San Diego Stadium have plenty to cheer about. First of all, there is a new record crowd. The Super Bowl game is going to be played here in 1988. So they've added some seats, and they sold those seats, and they like this football team. They've won seven in a row, have a record of seven and one. And they have the team in town that they love to hate. The Raiders, John Dockery has been going over the stats.